Hey everybody, it's Joe with JBlake Photo, and in today's video, we're gonna jump into the changes in iOS 13, specifically uh, importing files, importing videos and photos uh, onto the iPad Pro to edit in LumaFusion or uh, Adobe Rush or whatever the apps that you choose to use on the iPad. Uh, so let's jump in. All right, so I am running iOS 13 beta 4 uh, on the iPad, which is technically, I guess, iPad OS beta 4. I don't know, it's still iOS 13. Pretty much everything that I find here on the iPad, uh, I also find here on my iPhone. So, uh, so really what I'm talking about for the iPad is gonna apply for the iPhone as well, um, but the iPad just has that wonderful screen and all that great screen real estate. So we're gonna hop in here and take a look at a couple of things. So I wanna try out actually three different kinds of media. I have my trusty Apple Pencil here that we're going to uh, try and work with. I'm going to try and use three different uh, modes of importing video into the iPad using iOS 13's new files app. And I'm kind of going to show you the files app and the photos app uh, and the difference between the two. Um, so the first thing is I do need to tell you, I am running, uh, for those of you who have watched my channel, I am running the iPad uh, Pro 10.5. Uh, that is the 2017 model. So it does not have USB-C. However, it's got the lightning adapter. Um, however, it, that doesn't matter. Um, everything that we've seen uh, iOS 13 do with file transfer via USB um, is accessible using this uh, dongle here. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is the USB dongle from Apple. Um, and this retails for, I think, $39. It has a USB adapter uh, for USB-A, and it has a lightning pass-through so that you can continue to charge the iPad even while you have it adapted. And this will accept any of the devices that you would be able to plug into the USB-C port on the new iPad Pro. So the three devices that we're going to be testing out here uh, are going to be first, we're gonna try out this little 128 gig thumb drive here. Um, then we're going to use this external drive. If you guys watched my storage video, um, you know that uh, I love using these. So this is an external uh, one terabyte just 2.5 inch SSD, and I've got this attached with this little StarTech um, uh, adapter to USB-A. This is USB 3.0, uh, and this guy uh, has a ton of photos and videos on it. Um, so we're gonna try and plug that into the uh, dongle as well. And lastly, uh, we're gonna switch things up and we're going to go with the camera uh, adapter, the SD card reader that you can get uh, for the iPad, really for any Apple device with a lightning jack. And we're gonna go ahead and put um, some SD card media into it and see how that works. Okay, okay, so before we jump into all that, I do wanna just remind everybody that this uh, software is beta. I am running iOS 13 beta 4. It is absolutely beta software. It runs like beta software. It's crashy, it's glitchy, it's weird. There's some things that just don't work right. Hopefully, um, I can kind of show you some of that stuff, but hopefully it doesn't really impede this demo. Um, so we're gonna start off with the thumb drive. So I've got a 128 gig USB 3.0, USB-A um, thumb drive. And the first thing that I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in using the USB adapter, um, which ironically enough, it has a little picture of a camera uh, on the side of it. I don't know if you can see that, but um, so I'm gonna plug that in first. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in this adapter and see what it does. Okay, so first things first, I get a cannot use accessory ultra fit. This accessory requires too much power. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, so now if you watched my video, whew, I think it was like a year and a half ago, where I talked about importing uh, photos and video into the iPad, one of the things that I mentioned was that sometimes your devices will need power. Now, I, I do not believe that this is the case with the USB-C port that is on the iPad Pro um, with USB-C, but 
that the lightning bolt adapter iPads uh, definitely need external power. So one of the things about this particular adapter is that it has a pass-through port on it so that you can plug it in. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plug it in. Um, now in my case, I'm actually plugging it in using an external battery. Um, that works just fine. And that'll give it enough power. Helps to unplug it and then plug it back in. The other cool thing is that that means that your iPad will actually be charging while this is happening. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my files app. And as you can see right here, I've got my SanDisk 128. Okay. And I've got some, uh, some video footage from uh, being in the pool uh, with some of the kids. You can see my ugly face. So you can stare right at me there. Okay. So just some GoPro footage uh, that I grabbed uh, in the pool uh, last year, I think. Um, it's like the only thing on this drive. So that works. So we can do that. So we can pull things in from a thumb drive. So I'm going to pull that out. And we're going to play with something just a little bit uh, heftier. Um, I did not have to eject that. Um, but now let's go ahead and try something a little bit bigger. This is my one terabyte SSD. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in. Okay. Okay. So same thing. I've already got the power hooked up, so it should power it just fine. And we'll watch this thing hook up. And there we go. SSD one terabyte. So I'm going to tap on that and let's see, we've got some clips here. Here's my dad hitting a golf ball off the GoPro in slow motion. Not too bad. He'll be happy that he was featured in this video. Um, I've also got some footage of, uh, here I am riding my mountain bike and I'm just running this off this external SSD. So I can literally just scroll through this, you know, in pretty close to real time. Um, and this is 4K GoPro footage off the Hero 7 Black. Okay. Um, oh, here I am falling down off my mountain bike. That was fun. Yep. Okay. So obviously we can hook up an external drive. So if you've got like, for example, this is a um, 100 and no, 256 gig iPad Pro. So if you've got an iPad Pro that's a little bit on the smaller side and maybe you, know, you don't wanna keep everything on it and you wanna offload some project footage, you can use an external drive or multiple external drives. You can do all sorts of different things, which really gives you some flexibility when it comes to using the iPad as a video editing uh, platform. Okay, so now the final thing that I'm gonna do is I do want to hook up an SD card here. Um, this is actually a micro SD card inside of a micro SD card adapter. Um, this one's from SanDisk. Uh, so I'm gonna unplug the USB adapter, okay? And for this one, we do not need power. Uh, and I'm going to plug in the adapter in here. And I'm gonna plug in the card. Okay, so now normally when you plug in an SD card into your iPad using this adapter, you're gonna head into the Photos app to import these photos. So let's do that. So we're gonna go into the Photos app and we're gonna click on Import and there is our card, okay? So I can select these and import them just like I normally would. But sometimes you don't actually wanna use the Photos app. In a lot of cases, I don't like using the Photos app for stuff like this. I wanna use uh, just the Files app. I wanna be able to copy these things directly onto my iPad, and then I wanna be able to open them in the application of my choosing. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the Photos app, and I'm gonna open up the Files app again. And now you can see here, this card is visible both in the Photos app and in the Files app. So it just gets treated as an external volume, uh, even when you're connecting the SD card reader. So I open up the folder here and I can scroll through here and I can see all of those same files. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually take a particular file and I want to copy it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit select and I'm gonna pick the file that I wanna copy. I'm gonna hit more, I'm gonna hit copy. And then I'm gonna go to over here on the left-hand side over to on my iPad the copy of the file seems to have slowed the iPad down a little bit. 
we might be looking at a crash here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now I've clicked on, on my iPad and you can see the folders that I have uh, in my iPad. What I want to do actually here is I want to add a folder. So I'm going to click on the add folder button and I'm just going to call this um, projects. Okay, so there's my projects folder. So now there it is. And then I'm gonna use the new three finger gesture to bring up the paste command and I'm gonna hit paste. And now you can actually see that the file is copying. There we go, we've got our copied file. So now that file is now stored on my iPad. Okay, so now it's on the iPad and I want to now open it up in my editor of choice, which in this case is gonna be LumaFusion. So I'm gonna go ahead and double tap on the home button here and I've actually already got LumaFusion open. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the import button and I'm gonna tap iCloud Drive. And it brings up the on my iPad folder. I've got my projects folder here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that and I'm gonna tap on the file. So now I have that file in my project. Okay, so now uh, I wanna do a quick edit here. There's a little clip that I wanna pull out of here which is of me kind of coming through this little cave here, you'll kind of see. This is kind of an underwater little way to get out of this undersea cave. And I wanna find a spot where I can cut right as I'm coming out of the water. And then I'm gonna to cut to another spot where I'm right at the water, that way it's kind of seamless. Okay, right about there. Back just a little bit, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna drop that onto the timeline. Okay, and then let me just move forward just a smidge here. Not too much. Right about here. And I turn it over to myself. And now I'm gonna bring this back and I just, I wanna find a spot where I was in the water Maybe right about there. It's gotta be kind of bright. Maybe right there. Okay, and let's drop that down. Just to, just to try and make it look like it's one cut. Okay, so now let's take a look at our clip here. Okay, not perfect, but not too bad. So now let's export this and we're gonna click movie. And instead of going to the photos app that I normally would, I'm gonna click on iCloud Drive. I'm gonna keep all the settings the same. And now it's gonna tell me what to name it. We're gonna hit export. So now it's gonna create the movie and check this out. This is actually my favorite part coming up. It's asking me where on my iPad I wanna save it. So I'm gonna put it right back in that projects folder and I'm gonna hit save. And that's it. And it's saved onto that, into that folder on my iPad. So now what if I wanna copy it from that folder onto this external um, card? Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the Files app. Um, actually, you know what? I want to put it on that thumb drive. Okay, so hold on. I'm gonna unplug this. Okay, and I'm going to plug my USB adapter back in. Okay, there's my SanDisk 128, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to my project. I'm gonna take my La Jolla Cove file, I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit more and copy. I wonder if I can hit select and three finger tap. Yeah, and then copy, same thing. So I'm gonna go to the SanDisk 128, three fingers and paste. All right, so now the file that we just edited in LumaFusion that we copied off of an SD card uh, is now on this external drive and it never touched the Photos app. So that's it. Um, that's using the Files app with external storage to edit video on the iPad Pro. 
Um, I thought that, that would just be a fun thing to run through and take a look at, just kind of one of the exciting things that we've got in iOS 13. I'm super excited for this update to be coming out in the fall, and uh, I'll probably do some more videos about iOS 13, uh, some of the other features, specifically importing directly from a camera. We'll see how that works. Maybe we'll hook the GoPro up to it, do some other stuff. That's external storage in iOS 13 for video editing. I hope you liked this video. Um, and if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and turn the bell on so you know when I put new stuff on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.